check it out, it's breakfast. I've already eaten most of the English muffin sandwich. And, uh, you know what? The guy forgot, I ordered for him forgot to include the plate of bacon. I called him back. He said, oh yeah, forgot to include that. So apparently that's coming up right now. It's not a really big deal. I mean, I kind of consider bacon to be, like, luxury food. You know, like, if I just go breakfast without bacon, I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. Just thought I'd call him back and... Oh, whatever. So there's two milk, a uh, glucose control vanilla boost, two uh, low sugar syrups, two butters, and a blueberry yogurt. So, so it's all good. So I had a very nice lunch. It was a salmon burger, some mashed potatoes, some broccoli, two milks, um, a low glucose, Boost some, uh, yeah, that was it. It was a nice lunch, and so they forgot my chicken tenders, which I had ordered, but they didn't include. So now I have them on the table here, but I'm not that hungry right now, so they're just sitting around. Also, um, it's about 2 20 right now. McKenna and my dad have been by, McKenna is all signed out from here. But I'm going to be here until about 5 because of how the medication I'm on is scheduled. They've gone out to get lunch and walk around a bit, which I don't blame them. Because it's always nice to walk around the city like San Francisco. Look at interesting stuff. Um, so we're just chilling. I'm probably going to get dinner here. Uh, McKenna and Dad are working out how he's going to get in one place and we're going to go another place. But um, yeah, leave here about 5, get home. Uh, 10 o'clock, midnight, see how that goes. So I'm leaving at like 5 o'clock today, ideally. But only today do I realize that the mirror actually opens up into um, two different shelves there. And I've had my stuff sitting out in the sink this whole time. It even comes with some apparently free... Toothpaste? I'm having those toothpaste. I don't want sparkly fresh in any other place. And, um, yeah, no water, no rinse foam. Uh, hand soap. I could have been using that the whole time. How silly. Oh, that's, oh and the, 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 not the joints, the, um, I'm at a loss for a word. It's not a joint, but it's a mechanical hinge. It, is as cu it looks like a cricket. Look at that. There's so many moving parts there that are unnecessary. And I guess it just has to do with my own living experience, but more moving parts on door hinges means you're going to break it in more different places. That's really silly. So, I can't believe I didn't know that. How foolish of me. So here's a hell of a thing. My blood sugar is, the first one she tested said, 56. Wow. She checked again just to be sure. 61. Not far off. Took me by a hell of a surprise. And hold on, sorry. The person in charge of my diabetes isn't happy that it's going to be below 100 because that was part of. I get all this instruction. I don't relay all of it to you because it's a lot of information. But, um,. Yeah, I'm, uh, the goal is to keep it between 150 and 100, and it's below 100, so... Okay, hey, what was your blood sugar? 61. Ew. Yeah. So I got two orange juice, uh, 
packet of a, a um, cup of Jello that I didn't particularly care for. Now I'm having some graham crackers. Might be a little overkill. However, I don't mind that. And I don't think my uh, doctor in charge of my diabetic case is going to put up too much of a fuss over that. <clears throat> Might be a little more than I need, but that's more to err on the side of safety than anything. So it's nobody's fault. We have no idea where it came from. It doesn't feel good, but that it, it does make more of a case that I need to get a device that apparently goes on my arm, a continuous glucose meter, just always knows how much. This makes a good argument to get a device like that. Certainly to get a pump that, excuse me, that is constantly checking my blood sugars certainly uh, makes that more appealing to me so I will bring that up with my doctor as soon as I can as soon as I'm in a place where I can negotiate for that well I got all my stuff packed up and packed away now I just gotta wait for my ride to get here and I should be done with this place for a while This is a heck of a view to be leaving behind though.